I don't want to stay here any longer than we have to, so let's just pick an approach and stick to it, okay? Just humor me. When the magic mirror showed me this apartment, I think I saw a knife inside, covered in what looked like blood. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah. Well, like I said, let's not overcomplicate things. You can question him while I look around for it. And if he objects? We are here on official Fabletown business. And we can be persuasive if necessary. Or you can. Don't just peep into someone's house. Check if he's home. Oh my god. Go get Dr. Swinehart. I'll stay with No! Him. No. Let me go. She... What is it that you're telling us? Bigby, water. Kitchen. Did you find it yet? If you have something to ask him, you should do it now. Who did this to you? Do you still have that letter? Yes. It's only two words, but he died without seeing them. I'm sorry. We need to figure out what happened here, and find whoever did this. Sharp. There's blood on the blade. Is that the same knife you saw in the mirror? Yeah. I don't know why it's over here. I just don't understand. Why would someone want to kill him? What is it? This gun wasn't fired recently. Maybe a week ago. 
more. What are they? Prescription sleeping pills. That doesn't really help. Fingerprints? They'll be on the grip and the trigger. Strange. Hard edge to this pool, like something was here and got moved. When do you think that was taken? Before all this. through the chair. Yeah, the angle works if he shot himself. Still a little sticky. Dearest Faith, I never meant to hurt you, and I cannot endure knowing that I have. This was for the best. I'll see you again. Love, your devoted Lawrence. Hopefully they're together now. About all we can hope for at this point. Stay here! No! Hey! Stop! Leave me alone! Ease up, Bigby. We're on the same side here. You... Make me... 
run after you. What were you doing back there? Had some questions for Larry. Didn't think it'd go how it did. A man's dead. I know how it looks, but I had nothing to do with that. Come on. I'm bringing you in. What? Why? Questioning. Look, I was just asking him about the girl. That's all. When I mentioned her being dead, he freaked out. I figured someone had told him. How was I supposed to know? They shot himself right in front of me. I couldn't stop him, man. You're looking for the woodsman, right? I know where he is. My guy says he's holed up at the trip trap. We can go over there right now, the both of us. My employer's looking to ask him a few questions, too. Who's your employer? I can't tell you that. It's confidential. Sorry. Sure you understand? Nope. Can't say that I do. Come on. You're coming with me. This could have been easy. Huh. Don't worry. It still is. Come on. Dumb. Dumb? Yeah, it is. Look, it'd be much easier for you no, to... No, I'm D. He's dumb. You almost looked peaceful. Yep. Except you're lying in a dirty alley. Yep. With an open wound on the back of your head. Yep. Where'd they go? Well, after the one guy hit you, and the other one finished kicking you... That explains the ribs. Then they jumped into a car and drove off. Come on, get up. Guess we're out of options. He mentioned the trip trap. Then that's where we'll go. I'll call a cab. Every time I think I'm getting a handle on what's going on, things just get more complicated. It feels like we're always a step behind. The woodsman is the only lead we've got, and he was one of the last people to see Faith alive. Getting some answers out of him will start to clear things up. I hope you're right. Bigby? Be honest with me. Who do you think... did this? I know it's still early, but I just feel a step behind. It's an uncomfortable feeling. We haven't talked to him yet, but... Uh, Tell me. I don't think anything would surprise me at this point. I feel like Bluebeard has something to do with this. I had the same suspicion. I don't know how or why just yet, but if you're asking, this is his M.O. There's still a lot of questions. We find the woodsman figure out what he knows, and go from there. Makes sense. That's probably the best approach. Thanks I for I wish you. there was... Sorry. Go ahead. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, it's... It's nothing. I just... Seeing all this today, there are fables that are struggling worse than I'd imagined. We pay so much attention to the residents of the Woodlands, you forget there's a whole community out there to serve. To have to turn to... prostitution. I... I wish there was more we could do. This isn't how I thought it would be. But Crane runs things his own way. You're doing your best. It's all anyone can do. Obviously you don't know what I do all day. 
Right now, I'm the gatekeeper, making sure none of these disenfranchised folks are, as he puts it, wasting his time. You'll fix it. I don't know. It's just a broken system. The fables who walk in through the back door like Bluebeard, we have all the time in the world for them. You try and come in through the front door, through the proper channels, asking for anything, needing help. Well, I turn you away. Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. Maybe this isn't for me. I thought public service was pure. A way to help. You should stick it out. There are fables that would give up a lot to be in the position you're in, and I think it's easier to change something from the inside. You're telling me change comes from within. Sure. Not the advice I imagined hearing from you. I'm full of surprises. Uh, maybe you should handle this one. Yeah. Maybe I should. Bigby. I... Um, just be careful, please. The same goes for you.